And I just, you know, I want to say this. I'm really disappointed in someone like Dick Stratman who pretends to be a Republican and pretends to espouse Christian values or conservative values and then conducts a campaign in a manner like this. Not only as someone who's been out here doing grassroots stuff, I don't bust my butt for somebody like Dick Stratman to get out there and pull the kind of stuff he's pulling. And I don't think that if all of these allegations are true, uh, that, uh, you know, he's all of this stuff that he sent out and his little political operatives and everything else. And I don't think and I, I, that any other anyone else who's been out there campaigning and trying to push forward conservative principles so that we can use these to take back our government and actually put it right back on the base and have individual liberty and have free markets and all of that. I don't think that they've been going out there and doing all the work that they can so that some King George-esque kind of individual, a state politician who can't even do Demo- who can't even do uh, political operative stuff right and, and, and smoothly can just jump in and try to bully people and to take power. I don't, I don't think it's cool. It makes me ashamed. I wouldn't vote for someone like Dick Stratman upon learning something like this. And if, and, and, and if all of this in court, since apparently they're going to be going to court now, if all of this is proven false, I will do whatever I can to campaign against any kind of Dick Stratman campaign because this is not the kind of guy that I get out there and work my butt off so that people like him can swoop in like a progressive and get power for it. I don't dig it at all. I want I want 100,000 cool points from him. Very cool points. I just, I don't think it's cool. And you don't send, and I'm going to tell you something. If you, if you are sending letters out about somebody's marriage and trying to take their marriage down, in my opinion, you deserve to be slapped. That's just my opinion. And like Michelle, I'd have probably thrown him through a window too. I don't think that's cool. And, and, and then don't gripe about it and whine about it like a pansy. If he's saying that what happened was true, don't whine about it like a pansy after the fact. It's just totally, man up. What is wrong with people? Like, did we have a bunch of pansy liberals just infiltrate the GOP down there in Washington? What's going on here? You don't just send letters and stuff out, and, 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 and you don't run a liberal campaign as a Republican. Bottom line. Wasn't that guy endorsed by SEIU or something like that? Ah, uh, just makes me sick. I just, this is, and this is why, in a nutshell, I hate primaries. I do. I hate primaries. This is why I hate big establishment beltway kind of candidates, too. The beltway better get a clue that tricks like this aren't going to keep them in power. So they might as well just get right and go home. That's just the bottom line. 314-969-9797. Toll free 866-455.